welcome thank you so much for coming in for a video today we are doing the big giant jewelry jar that you all saw me fetch over at uh, one of the thrift stores here so um i was gonna wait because i have quite a few jars from that store i've only opened one i think i got six that day but this is the big one that the manager told me he would make up didn't believe him when he told me but he did so i gave him 30 minutes i went to the post office went back and he had it all fixed up and ready to go so i have gotten calls from all over the world <laughs> to open this giant thing oh my gosh wait till you see the the thumbnail my my daughter helped with i said somebody's got to hold it because i cannot show you the scale the grand oh i should have actually gotten a tape measure to do the width on that but it's over 17 inches tall, I think. It's pretty tall. See, this ruler goes 17 inches, right? <clears throat> Let me see where it stops. It's at about 14. Yeah, it's about 14 inches tall. And the 17 won't go all the way around. It's probably, I guess, about twice of that, so twice that so yeah about 34 inches in, in girth there and i got it for 30 dollars, which i could not believe so i can't wait to break in there guys let me go grab a quick glass of water and check on my tea i am doing that throat coat that they told me about it's gonna be a long night go get yourself a little lunch or snack or something maybe some cheese and crackers while i go get my tea and then we'll open it okay I just don't want to bore a hole in my teapot because the other day I did. I boiled the water for like two minutes and I have one of those really nice, uh, what is it, La Crusette teapots. It was practically stuck to the burner. So I don't want to do that again tonight. So you guys go get your snack. I'll be right back. Let me go make my tea. Well, it's made. I just got to pour it into the cup. While y'all look at that jar and talk amongst yourselves, and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness. I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, my goodness, we've got ourselves a thunderstorm going on, too, so I hope we don't lose the Internet. We shouldn't. I mean, I have gone live without the home Wi-Fi, though, right? So maybe we'll stay on. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting calls from all over the world. When are you going to open that jar? So we can wait on the little ones, I guess, huh? Because the first one that we got from that thrift store was pretty good was not bad at all. As a matter of fact, I don't know why I haven't gone back. Okay, we got a little Lady Liberty here. James Garfield. That's cute. I don't know what that is. Probably some kind of a repop of a coin. I'm gonna, I love this vase too. I'm already thinking, what am I gonna do with this vase? This jug. I'm thinking of a terrarium. Or a sand sculpture. Because <laughs> I am not recycling this one. This is too pretty. It's kind of a lavender color. Really cute. Okay, we got a couple of these coins. We even got a nickel. Oh, these are strange. Jefferson cute keel boat. Uncirculated. Oh, are these real coins then? It's got like a little gold co coating. James Garfield dollar piece. Cool. If you guys know about those, let me know. And I'm going to try to pour some out. Oh my gosh, this is such a heavy vase. I think the vase is heavier than the jewelry, but the jewelry is pretty heavy too. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see what. I don't think I can pour anything out. I think I just have to pull it out. And I'm scared of pulling it too hard. 
popping it. I may have to use some tongs or something. Oh my goodness, let me cut this. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I see Jude and Vanessa. I think I saw Princess Casserole in there. Let me see. Hi, Guillermo and Laura. Okay. Oh, wow. I can't even lift it to shake it. I'm gonna have to get my husband to come shake it out. I'm gonna stretch these hoops out of shape. I'm really gonna ruin them, gosh. That's crazy. And they're cute. Let me see if I can twist them around. They look, oh my God. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. <laughs> I know, this is insane. Oh, I hope I don't drop the. I have to stretch this out, guys. How in the world did he get this in there? It's not even hoops. I think it's a choker. Oh my gosh. Some turquoise looking stuff. Probably how light. Something there. Whoops, lost my light there. Hold up. Bring that light back. Okay. Is the lighting okay, guys? Hi, Thelma Cable. How are you? My goodness, take a drink of this throat coat. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys, as you walk in the door. We're doing the biggest jewelry jar. And I should have weighed it, right? Forgot. Must weigh 25 pounds easily, maybe even 50. Okay, look, this came out. What was that? It was a hoop. It was a big, giant hoop. It's all right, no big loss. To stretch all that out. Then we got this. This is cute. I think they're all acrylic. They're cute though. I like them. I'm trying to get all the lights off of my face and onto the jewelry. Okay, they're cute, green, little fashion piece, nice colors though. New York tag on that. I know, <laughs> Jude, no pressure, right? <laughs> no pressure. Oh my gosh, this is cool. I like this already. And I have some bolo ties from Autumn that I haven't even shown you guys, they're so cute. Here's a little mini one or something. This is too cool. It's like a choker or a baby size. Look at that. That's really pretty. I like the design on that one. Hi, Douglas, how are you? Here's a little Christmas thingy. This looks vintage. It's a little brooch. I like this one. It was five cents somewhere. Someone had it for five cents. Probably at a church sale or something. It's cute. I love this kind of stuff and the crochet ones and all that. I think they're so cute. All right, we got that. This is pretty. This is heavy. I think it's hematite. And then they put some faux turquoise, but I like the look of it anyway. It's really nice and with those little spikes and stuff. I like that. That is cool. Not bad at all. Okay, here's an interesting little charm. It's uh, kind of, I think it's like an emoji face with a Santa Claus hat. I love the bolo ties too. I got some really nice ones. As soon as I find them again, I'll show them to you. I got them from Autumn Grace from her MSP and they are amazing. They are really cool. Okay, here's something in a bag, guys. What's in the bag? One earring, another earring. <laughs> they don't match. And um, uh, what were these? Looks like they were gonna make some of those wine ID things. I don't know, just some little remnants there. Okay, a little plastic thingy as well. Okay, we'll put that aside over here. Um, hmm, I think this was a bracelet at one time. It's kind of stretched out. And let, 
Okay, and if I don't say hello to you guys, believe me, I'm very happy that you're here. I'm just trying to get through the, this is gonna take us an hour or more because most jars take me an hour. Okay, this is an acrylic. It's really dingy. It may clean up. It's very pretty. It actually looks vintage. So I'm gonna try to clean that up. It's pretty though. It's kind of a, how do you clasp it? There it is. There it is. There's the clasp right there. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to see if it has a make on it. I don't see one. I don't see a make on it at all. No, but it's pretty. It's kind of a enamel thing. This was some pearls, faux pearls. And just a lobster claw clasp on that one. Pretty. That tea is so good, guys. It really is. It, it kind of has like a, I don't know, I think they have different flavors, but this one's like the original. It's very good. Throat coat. One of my subscribers told me to get it for my lingering cough, and it really has helped me in the evenings. So if you guys have any other remedies, let me know. The earring there. Put the earrings aside and see if we get any matches. There's the other hoop. That's going to be stuck. Oh, this one came out a little bit smoother. This was actually a nice hoop, guys. I mean, it doesn't look like it's an expensive brand, but it was cute because it was double. And it's like a pinky rose gold color. So it's cute, and it's not heavy. It's called throat coat. I don't know. It had some kind of weird medicinal. It's called traditional medicinal. <laughs> Hold up. Traditional Medicinals was the brand. I got it on Amazon. I just looked up throat coat <clears throat> and it actually feels so good. It's got, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a menthol -y taste that I feel. So it's nice. Hola, que tal, Irma? Very, very nice taste and it just feels so good. It really does. This is pretty. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. All right, let's, and Pearls, real pearls coming out, guys. So I don't want to pull on that too much. Let's see if I can work this baby around. This thing is heavy, guys. I'm talking heavy. I may have to juggle it out in a minute. There is so much stuff stuck in the throat there. Can you see? In the neck, I mean. Speaking of throat. Maybe I should pull it back and stand it up and pull it out first a little bit before it's too much weight on it, right? Because I see something that looks like sodalite too. See a rosary, more pearls. <gasps> I see some quartz with some, um, what do you call it? Cloisonne. All right, let's work on this one. And then we'll pull out some more. This, this is interesting. This little thing right here. Cloisonne. Cute. That's the prettiest purple color on there. With some cloisonne beads. Give us the tea tonight. <laughs> yes. An anise as well. And yeah, it's so good. I actually like the flavor. I may become a tea sipper. So I really like it. These are, I believe they're acrylic guys, but they're so cute. They really are pretty. So that's just some nice pieces. Guys, this was only $30. This is a lot of jewelry for $30. And I haven't gone back to that thrift store again. Just haven't had time. This is pretty. I think it's just silver tone, but it's a nice little chain. Really cute. Okay, and then over here we have some more tangles. I did see some real pearls, that freshwater pearls that meant, popped out a minute ago. I need to collect the teacups, right? I have an aunt who has a huge, huge collection of teacups. So pretty. And I run into them all the time. That's the last thing I need is co more collections, Vanessa. <laughs> I got a nice rosary. Very nice, black, 
plastic rosary. Okay. And this is a small, little, very small. Oh my goodness, this is probably for a little baby. A little child, that is tiny. Faux pearl. Very nice though. And this is cute, whatever it is. It's weighty, metal. This is, this is like a rubberized metal. Interesting necklace. Wow. This one has a tag, yeah. This one's J. Crew. So that's a nice piece already, guys. J. Crew. Nice earrings. Nice, um, what was that? That bolo tie. Love that. That was very different. I like that a lot. All right, well, obviously this has little stations all around of dangles and metal. These feel, really feel rubberized, though. They're interesting. But I think it's just one long strand. You get the gist there. And J. Crew, very pretty. I like it. I like the bronze color of it, too. Yeah. That's really nice. I like that a lot. And there is the, the little, they always put a little crystal, don't they? That is J. Crew, right? All right, that was nice. Take another drink. Here's some cute earrings. Put those aside and see if we find any matches. Here's something that's in the tangles, too. Oh, that's pretty. I'm trying to pull this out without busting it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to stand it up and then see if I can pull that pearl choker looking thing without, because I think the weight is not helping. Pull some of these out. I should have done some preliminary work or something in here. This is not easy to pull out. There's another one. Here comes the freshwater pearls. Oh gosh. You wanted to see it, guys. Be patient. Be patient. Ooh, these are real pearls too, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm getting excited. But there's a knot. That's why he's like, I'm gonna put a big one. <laughs> he didn't want to untangle this stuff. All right, here it comes. Here, we undid the bottleneck. There. But see, these pearls are tangled up with this chain right here. So I wonder if these pearls have an opening so I don't have to burst them. No, they don't. Okay. These actually look like they need restringing anyway. All right, let's look and see what's over here while well, that stays over there. I like that bottle. It actually leans over on its side very nicely as well. Okay, here we go. We have silver tone, satin type of roping around it, kind of a denim color. Okay, and then this was out earlier. This is a nice one right here, this big thick gold thing. That's kind of cool. And this has a Banana Republic. Nice pieces in here, guys. This is a BR stamp on it, Banana Republic. I finally learned that. Very cool. Very nice and heavy. Let me finish my tea here. Mm -hmm. 
color is excellent still. And this is the logo to the Banana Republic there. So that's a nice piece. And that was probably $30 all by itself. Okay, there was a nice pearl that pulled. I pulled out too, this. This is really small too. Someone must have had a tiny little neck or maybe they made children's jewelry or something. But that's so pretty. Hi, Kathy Phillips and Umberto, how are you? Oh my goodness, that's cute too. It's tiny though. There's no way that would, nope, that fits. That's probably 12 inches. It's like an anklet. This is cute. It's a little made in Taiwan, little bookmark. Okay, and some earrings, one earring anyway. We did get the match to the big hoops. So these are matched up, big gold, kind of rose gold color right here. 94 people watching, 27 thumbs up. I think a few people need to go over there for just a minute and hit that thumbs up. All right. This tea is just getting better and better. I showed you that enamel one. Put that away. More pearls. These are real pearls too. And they put some nice pink crystals on these. And this is a nice bracelet tangled up in there. Oh my goodness gracious. It's a huge jar. It was, uh, what was it? 15 inches high, 14 inches high, about 34. Oh, wonderful, Kathy. I'm so glad you're happy with it. This is a little worn, guys. It's a magnetized thing. I don't know. I may just, um, just needs to be cleaned up though, actually, on the beads. I may have to put that in a craft lot because I've got it's got rondelles and other things people can work with. So that'll be a nice addition to a craft lot. And what do we have here? Something green. Is that part of a I'm trying to get these pearls out of here? but they're really tangled in there. Some leather going on in here too. Silver. Okay. Hi, Rebecca Miller, how are you? We're doing the biggest jar you've ever seen. You'll see the thumbnail if you didn't see it now. <laughs> uh, I take a picture of my daughter holding it. I was like, I need to get somebody to hold this thing. Okay, this is a piece of silver going through here. And I think this is all part of this necklace here. The silver, yeah, it's all part of this leather thing. So we'll put that away. Has a little dangle. This is probably a Claire's or something. That might be a nice addition to a craft lot too. Okay. And then... There's a bangle in here that looks really interesting. And these necklaces are awfully tangled. Oh my goodness. It's cute. Yeah, this is a cute one too. A little necklace with like a crystal, pretty one. Got some hair on it. You can see the back of the crystal and everything. Antique chain there with a little dangle, a little star, it looks like the Texas star actually. Kind of cute. And then I'm trying to get the pearls. They're really pretty. Really tangled up. Okay, they came out. Yay! 
Look how pretty. Oh, they're nice. Pink crystals. There's some pink pearls in here too. This is really nice. It reminds me of the one you sent me, Vanessa. That was pink and quartz and all of that. Pink quartz and um, rose quartz and pearls. These are beautiful pearls, a variety of colors. Wow, not bad, not bad at all, guys. Several pearls in here. Here's the other thing of pearls. But it's still tangled up with something else. Let me get these pearls on. I put them on. And let's look at this. This is interesting. This looks kind of modern. today and it has a mark also from J Crew. Yeah, another J Crew. This one has a little wear, but it's a nice style. The charms could be put on another chain. It's the chain that looks a little worn, but I like the bronze color on these little spikes and then that one, that's pretty and it's long. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. We are doing a jewelry jar, a huge jewelry jar that the manager kind of made up on the spot. As I left, he said he was going to, I had already bought all the jewelry jars he had that day. And he said, I'm about to make a big one out of this jar. And I said, you're not. He said, no, really, I am. So I said, okay, well, I'll be back to come get it then. And he's like, okay, give me 30 minutes. So we do a lot of that kind of stuff here on this channel, guys. I hope you enjoy doing that. If you do, be sure and subscribe today and hit the notification bell. I'm not sure if this is sterling, guys. Where's my magnet? We'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, this magnet's so strong. Everything sticks to it. It's not sticking to the magnet. Maybe it's sterling. I'm not sure if I see a mark down there, if that's just a smudge. Can you guys see that? Like in the corner? But it's really nice and it is marked Bear San Francisco. B A E R, Bear San Francisco. Oh, you have to you have to exit the chat for just a minute and go over to the screen and right below the screen of where you see the video, you'll see two thumbs and either one, but I prefer the one that's pointing out. That one's the nice one. Thank you for asking, though, Miss Thelma. Okay, what else? More of these ID thingies. I think someone was going to make wine IDs or something. And then we did get this. This looks like coral to me, guys. It's very red. It looks like coral. It's very nice. I need to put it on. And this is a sterling jump ring. You can see there that it's sterling. Doesn't that look like coral to you? Is it? Is my screen getting dark, guys? All of a sudden it turned dark over here. I hope it's not. Don't you think it looks like coral? And it is on a sterling jump ring, so I love that. Yeah, I think it is. Very nice coral, very red. Oh my goodness, I love that. Matches my little coral ring. Pretty. Okay, let's see what else is here. Gosh, we're not even, we haven't even started this thing. Oh, that, that is such a pretty piece right there. And it's the culprit. And I'm gonna probably cut this. I don't think I need this little bandana thing. Just to make things easier for us. I just don't see myself using a bandana necklace. Yes, and red should be worn. Something red should be worn. It's good color. On coral harvesting, really, Kathy? Was it here on, on YouTube that you watched it? Oh, this is so cute. It's got the prettiest little charms, but there's a silver one tangled up in there too. Let me, un let me undo that one. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of rings, guys. Tune in tomorrow because I'm going to give away this ring that I'm wearing. I won't tell you about it because it's going to be a sponsored video tomorrow. Company sent me this ring. It's beautiful. 
and I'm going to give it away when I do another jar tomorrow night. Okay. I just remembered. I was going to do it today, but then I figured this jar is going to take long enough. We'll do it tomorrow. Or the next jewelry jar that I do. I'll give away this ring. And I only wore it right now to show it to you. Now I'm going to take it off. Because I want it to stay brand new in the little box they sent me. And then I'll give you all the details on how you can buy one. And I'll give that one away. It's a little big on me too. But I always like to give away things that they send me. I can only have so many rings. You know? It's nice to wear them and then pass them on. Okay, this is really cute. It's just a costume piece, but it's a pretty color. I wish it was sterling. And that is by a V. I don't know who that is. It's just got a little V there. I think I'll put it in a craft lot. Okay. This is a pretty one, too. This is a pretty choker. It says rhinestones all around. That is so cute. Can you guys see that? Just rhinestones all around it. It's kind of cute. Oh, thanks for being here, Deborah. Very cute. I like that. There was a lot of nice tangle stuff and there still is. The pearls are tangled in here too. Pearls are still tangled in there and part of them are in the jar. Can't pull any harder or I'll break it. Some angel charm that popped out of there. That looks like sterling. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. Do it when you walk in the door. If you gotta go to bed, do it before you leave if you didn't do it already. Okay, these are just some little charms. They're a little worn, but they were really cute. They're all on this necklace. The chain is kind of worn out. It's got a bow, it's got a bird, and a little nice crystal though. It's a nice little champagne colored crystal there. Very cool. Okay. Put that over there. All right, this has come out finally. I think it's free from all the other necklaces. This is so cute. It's kind of like an illusion. That one looks like sterling right there with a the pearl. We will see. Earrings stuck in there too. The earrings really get stuck, guys. This one is cute. I don't see a maker on this one. Three strands. Very nice. Prettiest blue. I think they're all acrylic, but I love these. It kind of look like cloisonne, but they're not. They're actually rondelles with little caps. They're pretty though. I like the way they look. Still a little tangled, but we will move on. You get the gist. Three strands. Very nice. Nice necklaces so far. Not a lot of damage in here. <clears throat> I'm glad. I'm glad there's some nice things in here. Again, it was only $30, so I didn't think it was too much of a gamble. Okay, here we go. This is a very nice bronze color. I like that. Heavy, I think they are, not bronze, brass. But I like the way they just use the brass. Color chain and everything, very nice. We'll get that earring out of the way and this out of the way. Can you show some of the ways you display your bangles and bracelets? Oh, I have showed them in my um, milk glass collection, my vases, I love to put them on there. I also just have the bangle holders. I have a lot of those. 
I have giant boxes full of <laughs> my bracelets too. And I have two Amars with my jewelry. All right, let's move on. I was trying to read some of the chat. Hey, Monica. Hi, Liz. Liz, I got your box, but I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to open it in a minute, and I'm so happy it's here. Thank you so much. All right, this looks like sterling, guys, with a pearl. Looks like a real pearl. It is indeed a real pearl. Yeah, I do the milk glasses, milk glass vases. It is a real pearl that's probably... Wouldn't it be fabulous if it was a diamond? Probably a CZ there at the top. It's a sterling chain. It is marked, you can see it there, 925. I kind of saw a mark back here, but yeah, there it is back there. Let me, let me rub it out so you can see it. Hi, Peggy. See the little mark there? This is a nice hefty piece. That's a beautiful pearl. I'm really into the pearls this season. I've been stalking all of the internet looking for pearls, and I have found some lovely pearls. And now I found this in the jar. I'm excited. That's a real pearl, guys. A little half sphere there, I'll bet. Nice. What spoiler? Did you tell me? <laughs> I haven't even read it. I haven't even read what you wrote, Liz. I'm trying to get through this jar. But the, the box is here, and I'm super happy about it. Can't wait to open it. I know I didn't order something that fits in a box. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that already. Did you send me some Junior Mints Halloween? I know you were saving them for your nephews, right? I've been looking for those Junior Mints ever since you showed them in the video. And they do not have them at my grocery stores or my Walgreens. And Walgreens usually has everything. Guys, this is a pretty necklace. <laughs> yeah, I don't even care for, I mean, Junior Mints, I love them, I do, they're good. They're like my favorite, my favorite is really, I think, Snickers. But ever since you showed them, I'm like, I have to try those, I'll bet they're good. Oh my gosh, this is a big tangled mess, guys, but look how pretty these are. They look kind of oriental. Um, kind of exotic. The crystals have two colors. They almost look like Labradorite. What do you think? Can you see the two tones on there? They're very nice. I can't tell what the design is, but this chain looks very nice. It looks like a good quality piece like a Kendra or something. I don't see a mark, of course, but this is a very nicely executed piece. Yeah, very nice gold tone, I'm sure. I can't tell what the design is, but the beads are beautiful. Can you guys see that? Let me show it up close. Aren't those beautiful? I guess it's long or three strands. Yeah, I think it's three strands. Yeah, because they're they're gathered right there. So that is really, really nice. I like it. I have to untangle it, though. But yeah, it's three strands, and look at those beautiful stations. Do you think that's Labradorite? Can you see, like, gray and green and, like, a jade color, too? Nice. Very nice pieces. Oh my gosh. Can't believe it's been what a month and I haven't gone back to that store. Okay, these coins were in there, guys. And they say uncirculated coins. I showed you guys that in the beginning. That popped out. Don't know what they mean or anything, but we shall find out. Okay, we're going back in the neck here. There is a velvet pouch in here. Can y'all see that? There's a velvet pouch right there. <laughs> What in the world? I'm going to have to go to that store again. Oh, my gosh. And I've been trying to get there, guys, but I get out of work so late sometimes, and I still have to go to the post office, and I try to make at least one thrift store, if not at lunchtime, after work at least, one thrift store. I haven't gone 
to the bins, but twice. So, and then this particular store is not on the way home from work. It's not far from me, but it's in the other direction. Okay, this is some kind of little fun toy. <laughs> Looks like a toy. It's glass and a glass bead. It's cute on a very long chain. Hmm, interesting. That's a nice piece too. Whoops. Here is um, kind of a Valentine Cupid thing. See that? Cool. Cool little bracelet. Okay, I'm trying to pull that pouch out. But it is... Oh. What in the world? I think if I pull the patch out, I mean the pouch. Okay, I got it. What is it? What is in the cute little velvet pouch? Let me see. Oh, it's got some something written in in Arabic, right? And it's and it's from Muhammad Riyad. I guess it's from somewhere else. Even though we have a lot of these kinds of stores and communities in Houston. So it could be, but I don't even understand any of it. So even the English is only written with an ad is only an address. It's got a knot, guys, so I'm trying to untangle the knot. Oh my goodness. Did I see Kathleen in here? Kathleen, I'm glad you're here. Everyone, I'm so glad you're here. I'm trying to get through the the jar, guys. We're not even we haven't even scratched the surface on this humongous jar. This is the biggest jar in the USA, maybe even the world. Somebody call Ripley's now. Okay, here it is. It's coming. Hey, Groovy Granny. Lucy, Lucy. Okay, it feels like a bracelet. Ooh, it is. It's a little bracelet. Could be silver, I don't know. It kinda looks silver. Kinda looks, kinda looks brown. Interesting though. Let's see if it's magnetic. Not magnetic. It looks what? It looks very interesting. The design's amazing. I don't see a uh, stamp on it. Actually, I do now. Doesn't that look like a little stamp right there in the corner? I don't think I have my loop with me. But it could just be a little dent. I don't have to, I'll have to read it. But it's beautiful. I do love it. I don't know. And if it's from the Middle East, I don't know if they would stamp it the same way or what. But let's put it on because it's awfully nice. Very comfortable too. I like it. I like the bag too. Have to put that through Google Translate, see what it says. All right, let's keep going, guys. Try, still trying to pull those little pearls out of there. Are they out? These are little seed pearls too. They're cute. Hi, Perla. Okay. Got some hair. And we got the pearls out. Very nice little seed pearls. It looks like they were gonna restring them or something because, see there's a little piece missing there. There it is. Oh my goodness, my, my pillowcase has gotten all dirty. I'm gonna have to wash it. That's pretty. Just needs to be redone. I may put that in a bead lot though. That'd be a nice little thing to add to the bead lot. And then we got this, and I like this too. Look how pretty that is. A little necklace with uh, crystal looking. That might be my hair, it's white, I don't know. Um, I guess they're kind of seed beads, maybe. I don't know, some black hair, that's not mine. Very pretty though, I like that. That's a nice piece. Okay, let's dig in again. Let me stand it up again. 
because I think the weight is making it hard for me to pull for me to pull things out. This is pretty. I think this might be soda light. Oh, look at that. Mother of pearl corn or something coming out of that. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, some office supplies in here. I did need a chip clip, though, actually. I never have enough chip clips. Get that out of there. I see some Mardi Gras beads. That's okay, we've already gotten our fair share of nice things in here too. Oh, look at that one. White jewelry, always love that. All right, let's see what we pulled out for now. Move my <laughs> Getting out of camera range here. Let me move over here. And move the light over here. All right, here we go. See what's over here. Alex and Annie shows up. Gold tone with a K on it. And it, it's very pretty. You know the Alex and Annie stuff. That's a nice one. Still got a nice color and everything. So that's pretty. 2018 on that. Okay. Then... What was in this bag? Let's see what's in the bag. I know, Miss Cable, it's incredible. I hope he does that again next time I walk in there. <laughs> I did go back, like, I think we've been there two more times. Went with my husband, and I went back by myself. But we didn't see any jewelry jars. Okay, I believe this is just silver tone yeah just a little ball chain in silver tone <coughs> excuse me here's a bangle looks like silver tone as well or gold tone Running out, of, running out of places to put this stuff as I move it around the table here. This is a nice piece. This is silver tone. It's got a nice silver tone bead, wood bead though. And then it's just kind of graduated like that. Let me move this back a little bit. So that's nice. That's an interesting piece. All wood there. Okay. Then a stretch pearl, but these look like real pearls as well. Nope, they're faux. They're nice though. Here are some white ones. And this is tagged. They had a five cent sale somewhere. These pieces are tagged five cents, guys. It's my kind of sale, right? This is pretty, too. Just a nice, long necklace in white. Very cute. That's pretty. I like that one, too. Guys, there's 150 people watching. I am so happy you're here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like doing jewelry jars, you like watching me do the jewelry jars, if you like going with me to find all of this beautiful treasure. I sometimes do live thrift with me's. So I hope you enjoy that. Please hit that subscribe. Hit, please hit the thumbs up as well. Another five cent bargain, guys, <laughs> in the jar. It's so cute. Look at the way it's beaded, black and white. It's cute. It's probably from a garage sale, huh? Very nice. All right, <clears throat> what came over here? I thought this might be soda light. It's, it's some natural elements in here though. Okay, and then there's a chip clip there. I'll take that out of the chip clip. Okay, but look at that horn. 
That's mother of pearl with a star. Would have been better without the star. They just put it on there. It was two mother of pearl horns. That's kind of cool. I would probably take that star out and put something else because I kind of like it. I really like this. And look, this is also some kind of shell. I don't know. Do you think that's sodalite or something else? You can see the, the little things in there. <coughs> Why did they put that star there, though? That is so strange. But that is a really nice piece. I like that. That'll definitely have to be reworked. Just tell my husband to put something else besides that star. I think it'd be cute with another, maybe a piece of amber, some jade. Here's another beautiful five cent piece to cross glass. Very nice teal color, green, citrine colors. Citrine colors, these are glass, amber color. Just a nice long necklace. That is really pretty too. Yeah, the star for Texas. I guess they were trying to make it look kind of Western and stuff, but I don't know. I think it would look prettier if it was just some kind of natural stone dangling from there. Because I like it. I like horn necklaces and things. The Italian horns and all that. I'm always intrigued by those. Okay, there's the Mardi Gras beads. We get some. I rarely get Mardi Gras beads, but we got some in here. And we got some rubber stuff. And we got some more pearls. Okay, let's let me pull this up again. Is this a charm? Oh my goodness. They're just stuck, guys. There's like a traffic of stuff coming up. Yeah, I can't pull it all out. Okay, got something out. We'll go back to that in a minute. <clears throat> Both the Mardi Gras beads. A little rubber something or the other. What is this? That's cute. Interesting. It almost looks like something's supposed to be in there. Maybe a watch. Maybe you switch it out or something. Here's an earring stuck in the Mardi Gras bead. Put that over here. Here's a watch. Looks like a nice watch, though. It's very nice weight on it. Let's see what it says. Ann Klein. Oh my goodness. Just scrub that. Yeah, it's an Ann Klein. But it's got gunk on it. And then this one has some kind of magnetic stuff, of course. You get that a lot, too. Hi from Virginia, how are you? Dad's Vintage Garage, I'm just glad you're here. This is interesting. Hmm. Bracelet. And what else do we have? A dolphin on a gold tone necklace, very nice condition with little rhinestones and things. More earrings, I'm gonna put those aside and show you those later if they match up. Pretty though, this is a nice one. Gold tone. This is really nice. Nice bracelet. Just a gold tone as well. Looks like a vintage little box clasp there. Cute. Oh, this is cute little enamel. Looks like it had a dangle there too though. Looks like something may be missing. Oh really? Alex and Annie is so popular, isn't it? It really is and it's very expensive. I didn't realize how expensive it was or that they were charity driven. Okay, this looks like silver, but maybe it isn't. It looks like tiny little elephants. My gosh, you can't even see the elephants. Can you see the elephants? They're teeny. They're teeny tiny. Hi, Loretta. Yeah, this is silver. Cute, cute as a button. And then they added a little, 
they added a little dangle. They just kind of put that there. But this is a silver bracelet with the tiniest little elephants. Really cute. And it is marked right there on the jump ring. Score on the elephants. Yep. Okay. Let's go. This was interesting too, the white one. It looks like a vintage piece. And there's that chip clip. I need to get that clip out of there. More earrings. I'm going to cut this ribbon too. Because it's, it's tangling everything up and I don't, think it's salvageable anyway. The pendant is nice. I'll take that off of there. Clean that up. That's pretty, but I don't really care for this kind of dingy already. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of the chip clip and move on. And look at this. Pretty. They look like little knots. I think it's, it's just infinite. No, there it is. A little barrel, almost looks like a napier or something that I had. Just a little white necklace. And what is this? The gold one looks very pretty on here. Okay. This looks like another sterling clasp here. It is Mark Sterling. So let me pull it out of here. It's like somebody put it. It's just the chain, I think. Maybe there's a... It's nice to have a chain, though. A sterling chain always comes in handy. So I'll put that aside here. Very nice. I don't know what was dangling on it, though, because it was in here. It, it doesn't look like it was on this one. This one's too shiny. Hmm. Tangled mess. A tangled mess indeed. Okay, there it goes, there it goes. All right. Oh my goodness, this is so strange. I thought this turquoise looking thing was on the silver, but it's not. It's the other stuff that looks like a rosary actually, a rosary style. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's pretty. All right, yeah, it's kind of like a little rosary style necklace. So pretty with a cross. You guys weren't even seeing that, were you? I'm sorry. Trying to put it on my face so I can see it. This is just silver tone, but really pretty. Okay. And then this is the one that has the blue and little gold discs. And it's a triple strand kind of a... I like that. That's really pretty. Looks like coins or something. And then this dangles down the middle. So that's a nice look. I like that. That's very pretty. Okay, let's pull something else out of here other than single earrings. There's a box in there I want to get to, too. I don't know how I'm going to pull that box out of there. <clears throat> Let me stand this up a little bit. Pearls. There's a huge cross in here or something. Okay. Oh, this is cute. It's broken now. What a shame. Look how cute it is. But it's bent. Ah, oh, what a shame. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, how did he get everything in here? I have to struggle so hard to get it out. <laughs> Crazy. All right, here we go. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a pretty necklace. Pretty bracelet. I got some. Ooh, nice shell. What is this? No world. Okay, I'm gonna get this darn box. <laughs> My hand's not gonna come out, guys. Look. It's <laughs> okay, there it went. Oh my, but watch the box be empty. <laughs> I think it's empty. I'm so upset. I think it's empty. <coughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, it's got some earrings. Look at that, Jade. Awesome. Score. It felt like it was empty. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Little pearls, too. Maybe they're diamonds. I'll have to get the diamond tester with a new battery in it. That is cool. Look. What does it say? Canadian Jade. Ne nephrite. Cool beans. It's even got the literature with it. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. Printed in Canada. Oh, these are beautiful, too. The native word for Jade is Squaz Lishi. Mystical properties, according to the Chinese, five virtues. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Look at that, guys. Now, let's see, they are pierced. Oh my gosh. They're probably gold-plated. They're so cute. Look at that. Pearls and jade. Oh my goodness, my daughter's going to steal these. If I don't sell them first. I'm so excited. I can't wait to look at that under a loop again. Wow, these are cool. Super cool. Well, that box was worth it. Man, I thought it was empty. <laughs> it didn't weigh anything. It didn't make any noise. But that is a score, guys. Let me let you see that again. That is awesome. Some pearls some little stones i'm sure they're probably crystals but i will get the diamond tester on them believe me and that jade is an amazing so nice i'm actually wearing tiny earrings today believe it or not so sometimes i do wear the tiny stuff oh my gosh i'm excited about that okay so we also pulled out this shell very pretty. Looks like the sun. I wonder if that got bent in there. Hmm. And I think it has coconut shell as well. Very nice necklace. Great jar, guys. $30. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. I've been getting some $30 jars from the Goodwill, too. Hoarding them, and I'm hoping they're nice. Because... Last couple of times from the Goodwill, some of those cheaper jars have not been worth even the cheaper price. So this really made up for it. What a pretty necklace. I like the way they put that one silver bead right there. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. Look at that. I like the way they put that one silver bead there. The shiny silver one. That's pretty. They're knotted too. So they're very nice. Very nicely made. Hi, Lori. How are you? I am doing the purple one. Yeah, we're not even halfway done. We already found jade and some sterling. Beautiful broken cross, but I love it. It looks like somebody already tried to glue it once. That is so pretty, too. What a shame. That would probably... Look, see? It's broken right there. That would probably have to be used in a crafter lot. Maybe on the back of a phone or something. Something to glue that down so it won't come off anymore. Here is... Here is some acrylic black and white stuff. That's a little tangled up with this statement piece that's really cute. This is a nice statement piece. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. This is different. I, some statement piece, p 
pieces start to all look alike, you know? You've seen one, you've seen them all. But this is different. I like it. It's got gold. And I don't see any missing pieces. I like the peach. I love the way they just put gold right here. That's a nice piece. Really nice. Okay. Put that over there. This is a beautiful stretch, but it's missing stones. It's very heavy. It's an unexpandable one. Make a nice addition to a craft lot for harvesting those stones. And this was pretty. This is one of the ones that was stuck right in the beginning of the video. This pearly one. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks like Halloween stuff because it looks like a spider web. How pretty. Look at that. That's really nice. Really pretty. Seed bead, seed bead work there. And I guess you would just put it over your neck. No opening or anything. That's amazing. I like it. It's a very, very nice design. Okay, we have a huge gold chain. Rope. Kind of a Mr. T look there. Very heavy. Thank you, Sanja. I think so. Yeah, this is super heavy, guys. It's not sticking to the magnet either. <laughs> Honest, it's not. It is not sticking to the magnet, but I don't see a mark. But interesting that it's not sticking to the magnet. All right, here is a pretty piece of something. What is that? Purple, pretty. You see it? It's a nice piece. Some kind of natural stone. It is tangled though. I'm gonna cut it off of this cord because the cord is pretty worn out. And that is a nice piece. That'd be nice on a chain. What is that, Miss Jude? Are you still here? Could it be, could it be amethyst? Purple, brownish in there. Oh, is that what it's called, Melissa? Thank you for letting us know. Guys, if you have any information on anything you see, be sure and leave comments. I always appreciate the comments because we learn quite a bit from you guys. You know so much more than I do. This is pretty. It's kind of a butterfly design. It is an expandable as well. That's a pretty one. I was hoping those were earrings. Those would have been pretty earrings. Yeah, that is a nice stone. What, what kind of stone is it, do you think? Some kind of agate, maybe. It's got purpley colors, brown colors. Okay, this is just a little dangle, silver dangle. Might put that in a crafter lot, too. That'd be a nice addition to something, some necklace or something. The chain's busted on that one. This has got some wear on it. Just a gold tone chain there. Got some wear on that. Brain fog. <laughs> it reminds me of that lace agate, but it's not lacy though. See, looks like a cloud and then there's some brown in it. Be nice, I'll put another ribbon through it or something. Or a prettier, you know, satin ribbon. That one was kind of worn out already. another little costume piece in here yeah that seed bead necklace is amazing it really is you think so fun finds possibly I know it's uh, a lot of work in that thing though that is really pretty Okay, we pulled this out of there. Looks like the Phantom of the Opera mask or something. Kind of. Interesting. Peace. 
This is really nice too. There's a lot of tangulation here with this. Okay, that's the piece I cut with this rubbery stuff or cloth ribbons and everything in here. This is so cute, but it's plastic too. Some kind of acrylic. Okay, let's see if we can pull that out. My hands are gonna be so filthy black. <clears throat> Fingertips are gonna turn. Charcoal. Okay, this is cute. Nice Y design on this one too. I like this. That's really pretty. You guys see the way that fits right there? That looks really nice. That one's super. <laughs> right? I should take it back and say I'm back for my fill up. <laughs> he'd get a kick out of it and he'd probably do it. I'll have to do that. Maybe I'll take him some donuts or something. The donut shop right across the street. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that would be more Mardi Gras, guys. Hair is. <laughs> well, not Mardi Gras, but some kind of kid jewelry here. Okay, and then these are definitely just little plastic beads. Mardi Gras style as well. A lot of people craft with those, though. Here's that bangle that popped out. That's kind of cute. There's a missing piece, though, so that'll go on a crafter lot. Missing stone there. Okay, and then this is a big, chunky, very small, though, choker. Very small. This is a pretty choker right here. Oh, what a shame it's missing some baguettes. Look at this. But this will be a nice crafter addition because... You can't find baguettes all the time. And there's some other stones there too. They look like really good quality rhinestones for harvesting. So I'll put that in a crafter lot too. God, I wonder if I need some baguettes in a bracelet. I think I do. Don't remember anymore, gosh. But that, that was such a beautiful piece, wasn't it? Little choker. But I think it's missing about two stones. What a shame. What a shame. Hmm. All right, more crafter additions. These are faux pearls. Nice long strand. Interesting, vintage for sure. All right, pearls. Okay. More to untangle here. Let's see what this one is. Okay, here it is. Oh, this is nice. It's a little Y necklace too. It's all acrylic. Nice piece. Missing a few dangles, so I'll probably craft that one out too. All right, and then this is nice. This is knotted. They're all acrylic beads, but they're pretty. They look kind of like ice, black and white. And these are knots in between. They're like a satin ribbon. Nice piece there. I think this is nice. I like black and white in the summer. Very nice. All right. Then we have this gold and silver. Interesting. These are teeny tiny rondelles in here, guys. Can you see that? Really, really small ones. Gold and silver. Very cute. Super yellow gold in here. It's really pretty. I like that. It's so yellow it almost looks real. You know, like 22 or 18 carat. Nice. I like that. All right, we have an expandable AB. Very pretty bracelet. 
And we did get some matches here on these earrings. We got these little kind of uh, quartz. They are matched, those are nice. All right, let me dig in here again. We did get this, it says Jesus. And I think it's pewter. And it's just on a ball chain. Looks like the color of pewter though, for some reason. All right, so we got that. Let me dig in here again, guys. I do see a lot of Mardi Gras beads. Oh, so let's see. There's Mardi Gras. I'm gonna tell them, please don't put Mardi Gras beads in here. Make a separate Mardi Gras jar, look at that. <laughs> I had seen that too, but then I saw that box and I was like, hmm, it's gotta be something worth $30. Oh, look, Budweiser. Okay, we got some St. Patty Day things, I guess. I'm trying to get all these Mardi Gras beads out of here. I know Anita says she uses the Mardi Gras beads for the crowns that she makes. And her crowns are beautiful. Wow, these are a lot of Mardi Gras beads. OMG! Oh my goodness, coins and everything. No, this was not fun. But can't have everything, right? Gotta get some junk in here. All right. <laughs> All right. There's more in there. All right. Well, it's just, you know what Mardi Gras beads look like. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna donate those to it. No, I think I'm gonna make them in a jar. Put them in a jar, make a jewelry jar for my garage sale with only Mardi Gras beads for the kids. They'll love that. Having a garage sale this month. And that's where these are going. Oh, here's... Get this out of here. All right. More Mardi Gras. These are, yeah, they might as well be Mardi Gras, right? Little pink kids. Jewelry, that's pretty though. I like that one. More kid jewelry. Yeah, this is gonna be a kid's jewelry grab bag. I'll put all these beads in there, even these. Even though these are nice and heavy, I think they're glass. Those multicolored ones are kind of cute. We'll put those aside. These are heavy as well made in Czech. These are made in Czechoslovakia. These are glass. That looks like a sterling, that looks like a sterling jump ring too. They wash these up and keep these. These are Czech glass. At least that's what the tag says. So nice glass ones there. Let me see what else popped out of here. We did get a match on these earrings. A lot of the earrings were matched. It's soccer ball. Kind of worn out. Put that in the kid jewelry lot. Here's a bracelet. Expandable bracelet. Yeah, the glass ones are nice. Yellow especially. I wonder if they were for crafting, but the... the the jump ring is sterling. It's Mark Sterling, so these are very nice. Yeah, interesting. Have to wash those up. They feel a little dirty. All right, more Mardi Gras, guys. And then some seashell. All the requisite stuff is coming out at the bottom here. Let's see what else is in here. Seashells. Let's see if I can turn it over now. Nope, not quite. Still stuck. Oh, here's some glass crystal stuff from Kato. Mardi Gras. There's another box. I think it's a box. My hand is stuck in there. Can you guys see that my hand is stuck in there? It's crazy. Is it morning over there, guys? Oh my gosh, I'm afraid I'm not going to get my hand out. That'll be 
That'll be a problem. Oh, these are barrettes or what? Oh my gosh. No, they look, it's a men's selection here. Wow. Hmm. I've got some tie bars. These are pretty actually, very nice. These look like some sterling ones I got on MSP once. Cufflinks and tie bars, these are really nice. Hmm, so that's not bad. Lots of men's things there. Let me get these Mardi Gras ones out of the way. And seashell. I'll put those in that kid's grab bag for my garage sale. I have to get busy with that garage sale, guys. Mine is a big to-do. I'll try to do a video. I have done one, but I'll try to do a live one. It's been a long time since I've done one. Paparazzi in rose gold. This is nice. I actually kind of like it. It's nice and heavy. And the earrings are pretty, too. I'm not down on... on uh, I'm not uh, too um, fast on putting down paparazzi jewelry or the sellers. It's a very intriguing phenomenon that's killing it in profits. Okay, this is some chain with rhinestones, chain links. All the stones are there on this one. Then we have a glass citrine looking cross. I don't know if it's a natural one or not. I am gonna do a garage sale, I am. And I'm gonna do a video. I have done one before on tips. This looks like a natural stone, guys, I don't know. Yellow color, it's very pretty. It's got a bale already ready to put on a, on a chain. And I've done one or two on tips, but I'm going to film it as I do it, preparation. Then I'll, you know, film some of the customers. Probably won't try to avoid their faces unless they walk right into the camera. But um, I'll let them know. Maybe someone will ham it up. <laughs> this is pretty. This is actually in a wire right here. Like a stretch wire. Kato. These are glass crystals. Nice chain. That's interesting. Earrings. Another cross. This looks like sodalite. So we're, I think we're going to have a combination, different types of crosses. Sometimes we get like all of the little hearts with different stones, right? These are pretty. Not bad. Not bad at all. And more earrings, gold and silver on these. Another kid. This was another kid's necklace. I'm going to put that in the Mardi Gras thing. And what else did we get over here? Oh, we never saw this one. I think this is supposed to look like wood, but it's actually kind of an acrylic looking, feeling one. This is interesting. A little fashion piece here. I'm not sure if it's tank. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, this is cute. Looks like a Chico's or something. It doesn't have a mark though. That's pretty. Pretty beads in here. Yeah, that cross is pretty. It really is. Well, two crosses now. Okay, I don't want to stick my hand in there. I'm really scared of getting it stuck. Let's see if I can pull. Oh, there it looks like there's more coral in here. Let's see what's in here. No, I don't know. Purple. Okay. Here's a stretchy cable looking thing. Here is, oh, this is cute. Glass, interesting beads they put on here. There's some dyed shells, some glass. This was Texas Thrift. And guys, remember when I was doing the video and I said that there was one by the airport? I was wrong. Oh, we got rose quartz too. 
I was wrong. I was thinking of Alamo Thrift. So now we have three of these in the different natural stones. Wouldn't those look cute all together? Uh, so no, it's not the same one. The other one is called Alamo Thrift. So I'm gonna have to go check out Alamo Thrift. This was only five cents. It's so pretty. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's coral. Almost looks dyed. But the other one did look like coral, the first one I saw. This is red. This is cute. It's very 80s, but it's such a pretty color. Looks like candy. Okay. Then, what is this? A rosary? Oh, I think this was a rosary. But the cross broke. This is a pretty necklace in here. This gold and silver one is pretty, very heavy. And it's marked, um, is it Monet, guys? Doesn't that look like Monet? I think it is. Yeah, this is a Monet, the gold and silver one. It's very nice. Feels very heavy and pretty. Well made. Very nice. Oh, we got the match on the little dangly thing. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It looks like 180 people were watching. 95 thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, though, because then you'll be notified when I put up a fresh video. And I've been doing a lot of live thrift with me's. I'm hoping to do one tomorrow. This is a nice Monet, guys. And um, when I do lives, you can talk to me in real time as well. Here is, uh, I don't know what this is, like an acrylic leaf. That's so cute. It's an earring. We have two verdigris filled earrings that I will dispose of very promptly because I don't like the verdigris. That's a lot of verdigris on there too. Sometimes I don't mind cleaning it up, but that looked like a lot. It's a little silk, no, gold color heart. That was a nice Monet piece. So I really appreciate you guys watching, guys. Be sure to let me know you like the content with a thumbs up. This is cute, guys. This is metal, but it's got like threading here. I love denim colored jewelry. I really do. Plus, the next jar that I'm opening, guys, I'm going to give away this ring. I will, will tell you all the details about it, but it's a lovely ring. And it was sent to me by a company. I will make it a sponsored video and tell you all about it. And then I will give it away. And look at that beautiful blue color. That's going to be given away. Next jewelry jar opening. Don't miss it. Oh, look, we got a tiger eye, too. So now we're... These are so cute. I love when they do that. I've had these in the hearts, but never in the crosses. That would make a nice charm bracelet, too, wouldn't it? With all those beautiful crosses. That's pretty. I like that statement piece. Okay, this is the one that I thought, could it be a rosary? Because look how they put the turquoise in here, and that looks like real turquoise to me. And I don't know what this little bean-looking thing is, but... They put a really cheap cross on it because it broke. Hi, Miss Lori. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Guys, Lori sent me the sweetest gift. I was just, I used the pencils. I used the folders. I'm reading the book. The earrings, my daughter wants them so bad. I'm going to give them to her because she really wants them. <laughs> so I can't thank you enough, Miss Lori. You were so sweet to do that. Guys, this is so cool. Why did they put a cheap cross on it? Look, I think these are real turquoise. They sure look like it to me. What do you think? And I wish you would tell me what these other beads are. Oh, I'm going to change the cross. Is it a rosary, though? No. No, because it doesn't have tens. It doesn't have this, but it looks like it, and it's so beautiful. I love that. That is pretty. Thank you so much, Miss Liz. I appreciate that. All right, we have a few more items still to come out of that. Lots of little charms and things are popping out, but there's still a few things at the bottom of the jar. And here's another cross. Okay, we're up to five crosses now. Look at the beautiful blue one, guys. Tell me what, what stone it is, because we have tiger eye, rose quartz, um... 
What's the other one? Soda Light. I don't know what the but oh, Rose Quartz. I think that's Citrine, but I'm not sure. And I have no idea what that beautiful blue is. I am going to cut that Broken Cross in. I don't think it needs anything else, honestly. But um, that's a beautiful beaded necklace. Those are genuine turquoise beads. You can tell. You can tell they are. Okay, let me see if I can dump this a little bit. No, still can't dump it, guys. There's another little hoop fell out of there. Oh, something. What is this? That's cute. <gasps> Look, I bet that's what's her name, Laurel Birch. I hope there's another one. I got some beautiful Laurel Birch earrings from Kelly's auction once, and they were too heavy. I had to sell them. They were so beautiful. They weren't even cats, though. There's a velvet box in here, guys. Keep your fingers crossed that there's something nice in it because it's actually stuck in here. More of these Mardi Gras beads. Sorry for moving the camera around. <laughs> this thing is very heavy. Oh, gosh. Okay. We got a package of hoops. And all of them are pretty worn out, but they're lead free. <laughs> so I will recycle that. Yeah. Mardi Gras beads are going in the garage sale for kids to have fun with. Okay, here's a little, oh my goodness. This looks like a vintage ring too, guys, but look at that vertigree all over it. Now, this I may try to save because it's kind of cute. Little jing jingle jangle one. Here is a, is it a Timex? It says quartz, so it's not. Little watch. A barrette with cats. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. Can't resist the cats. El Dorado. Casino in Reno. El Dorado. Okay. Got an earring. Very nice blue color. Is this a... Oh, I hope I find this. This looks like a Laurel Birch. It is marked... Is it Birch, right? Is that what it says? Laurel Birch, right? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have my hopes up, and it's not going to be... Oh, look, guys. We got some gold stone or whatever it's called. We're up to, like, seven. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. These are gorgeous. Look at that. So cute. And here's the, the hematite one. They're all here. Wow. Nice. We got a skull ring just in time. It's plastic, but who cares? Still cool. Still cool. <laughs> okay, we got a button holder, a button cover thingy. We got another skull. Oh, we got all colors now, too. Ready for Halloween. Oh, we got some of this. I forget what this is called. Pretty. Pretty beaded something or the other. We got another Santa clad emoji bead okay more earrings these are just little oh that's a cute one that's a cute button cover little is that a nickel it's a real coin too guys very nice Hey, Kelly. Oh, look, we got amethyst now. Everything is in here, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. I keep showing them to you. I'm just going to leave them right here. Every, every stone is there, represented. All right. Oh, look at this. This is pretty, too. Hematite. I don't know what. I don't know what, but it's, they feel nice and cold. They are on, a, on an expandable. These are pretty. I don't know what they are. Look like different stones. That bracelet was nice, wasn't it? Came in a nice fancy pouch from the Middle East. 
school with Middle Eastern writing on it anyway. Another kid's piece going into the lot for kiddos. Interesting wood earring. Is this wood? Yeah, it's wood and it's painted and it's just one right now. Oops, sorry about that. I really like this. Look, it's like mesh. They make these very nice. They look so cool. That's a pretty color too. That's an interesting color. Kind of a rose, kind of a dusty rose color. Yeah, there's an earring stuck in it. That's really pretty. Oh, here's a, a little earring with some kind of stones in there. Two more crosses, yeah. That's insane, they're so pretty. Like I said, I've run into these before. Oh look, more crosses. <laughs> but they're usually the hearts. So we have two rose quartz, right? I don't know, maybe that's jade. It's nice and cold. And we already got the jade earrings. Oh my gosh, this was a fabulous jar. We're not done yet. <clears throat> How long have we been on, guys? Three hours? I still haven't gotten the velvet box out. I can't get it. Maybe it'll pop out. Hold up. If, see if I, when I put my hand around it, it's like stuck right there in the neck. How am I going to get it? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I better be something good in there. Oh, velvet box is always fun. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be something good. <gasps> OMG! That's cool. Oh, gaudy enough for me. Gaudy enough for me. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Ooh, scratching my patriotism again. I love this. That is just so cool. Wow. It's like this jar was made just for me. Kelly, this is the big jar that you helped me convince the manager to make for me, remember? He was like talking to Kelly on the, on the, what do you call it? Uh, on the tele, FaceTime. Okay, there's another little piece of velvet, and I think that's the last piece. Nope, another piece just popped out. Okay, put this down. Okay. We got a leather, and it's leather, but it's bonded leather. So, hmm, it's interesting, kind of, kind of glam rock there. Interesting piece. And these are nice earrings with very big backs. They're just silver tone. But wow, we got through it, guys. I believe that is it. That is all of this huge jar, more than worth. $30, don't you think? We got sterling, we got jade, pearls, lots of pearls. Wow, that was an amazing jar. It was worth it, more than worth it. I am so pleased. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This was black. Nice, too. Look at that. That's a nice one. These are all acrylic, though. That's a mesh in there. That's an elegant piece. Most definitely, Monica, worth the money. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Show me you enjoyed it with a thumbs up on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe. Come back again because my next jar and jarring, I'm going to give away this beautiful ring that was gifted to me by a company. I will tell you all about that company, and I will tell you all about this ring. And one of you guys is going to take it home. So that'll be a giveaway coming up with my next jewelry jar and jarring. Stay tuned for it. I appreciate you very, very much. Thanks for, thanks for spending some time with me, putting up with my scratchy throat and all that. And uh, let's see what we do with the jar, right? I'm excited about the jar, too. The jar was worth $30. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful night. And enjoy your weekend. I can smell it already. Have a good night. Bye-bye.